So I've been wanting to make a uh, video <clears throat> on my uh, Doc Martens or Dr. Martens uh, for life shoes for a long time now. And uh, my channel is more about travel, adventure uh, type of videos I do, but uh, I love two things apart from that. Uh, watches, which uh, I do a few reviews on those things, and uh, footwear. Uh, over the years, I've been... Um, you know, I've really enjoyed uh, usually English-made shoes uh, from the factories in Northampton, England. Things like Trickers and Alfred Sargent's and Lokes. And, uh, you know, so I have a wide variety of footwear. And then uh, I said about Doc Martens. I think it's a cultural thing. Uh, you know, growing up during the time period when these were quite popular, um, I have an affinity towards them. And they had that Ford Life uh, deal. And actually, unfortunately, they closed that down for folks. Uh, I think it ended 2018 and uh, any purchases after April and, and not registered by May of 2018, uh, you can't con um, participate in the plan. But I, I got these maybe about a year ago and I'm registered. So you're kind of, you'll be grandfathered in there. So, um, so I've had these about a year, and I just want to talk about Doc Martens, this for life shoe, and in general, Doc Martens. Um, the first thing I just want to get off the out of the way is sizing. Um, you know, that's the Achilles heel, pardon the pun here, of Doc Martens is sizing. Uh, they tend to only have whole sizes, uh, and you know, today I'm finding shoe or footwear companies that actually have quarter sizes. And there are even some companies that will send you, uh, I think it's a fairly new company called Adams, they'll send you a few shoes, different sizes, and you can buy a full size for one foot and a half or quarter size for the other foot. Um, see, I think that's really customer focused. And unfortunately, uh, Doc Martens really are not doing a service to their, to their customers. They could they could really increase, I think, sales by offering half sizes at the minimum. Uh, and, uh, and just to let you know, I'm, I'm about a size 11. These are UK size 10s. And uh, so they're like a size different, say. So uh, one thing you'll notice that I had the made in England ones. And some of their shoes, even though they're the same model, uh, uh, the... Uh, they, they, they're made in different places. So the made in England's use a different last. So a last is kind of like a form they build off. It's kind of like the tree. This is a uh, cedar tree shoe. But a last is kind of a wooden form or a plastic form that they use. It's more complete than this. It's a solid piece. And they build the shoe around there. So the last and the made for England shoes have a, a probably, a, I think they have a more narrow a toe, be, a toe box. And the ones made in Asia, these are actually made in, made in Thailand. They have a wider toe box. So when I wore, I, I did have a size 11 made in England, uh, Oxford. Uh, and those were uh, actually, they were okay, but they're, over time, I couldn't really wear them for too long because my toes started to hurt a bit. They were a little too, too crunched together. But once I got these, the... The Thailand ones, they fit perfectly. Uh, but I feel bad for the folks that are different sizes. I think they say 70% of people's feet have, a, have different sizes between the, feet, between the feet. I know my, I have a size difference. I think of close to half, an, half a size uh, difference between my two feet. So anyways, on to the For Life. Uh, for Life, you can see they have a little For Life icon at the, at, at the bottom. And also it says for life in the soul and also on the tongue, I think. Uh, these are the 1461 and, uh, and Oxford, and these are ox blood. Now, uh, I do notice the ox bloods uh, made in Thailand in the for life series they have a different color. I think it's a more of a um, more maroon or burgundy. It's a little darker. I, I definitely prefer the made in England uh, uh, ox blood. It's a, it's a brighter one. I, I'd prefer that actually. It used to look even a shade of brown to me. Uh, so I don't know if they'll ever change that. 
And they have about 14 different types of leather Doc Martin uses. <clears throat> so uh, these are, uh, this type of leather is the hard life leather. And hard life is a more of an oily based leather. I think in the tanning process, they saturate it with more grease, different greases and oils. So it's a little oilier. And the uh, made in England ones have a, a quill, Quinlan or Quinlan uh, leather, which is a harder leather, uh, which I'd prefer actually. Uh, I'd love to have that leather with the last that they make these on, and that would be kind of and the red color they made in England. Kind of, that'd be that'd be perfect. Anyways, I've had these for a year. I really try to take care of them, and I'm I find the program. For life program really interesting because I'd like to see how many pairs of these I can wear before I, you know, before I'm no longer walking on this earth. Uh, and so this is my first pair. I'm, I'm already uh, up there in years, so uh, I, I'd be curious to see how many pairs I, I, I get to wear. So right now you can see what I do is because I wear these, I tend to wear these every day. Even at, at my uh, a job where it's more of a formal environment, I seem to get away with these. And um, and I try to keep the uppers in as good a shape as possible. I use shoe trees. I actually polish the toes and the, and the heel areas, the areas that don't get kind of bent when you're walking. I use that this kiwi uh, color right here, this, this ox blood color. And I think the color is very, very close to to the color of the shoe. And then for the areas that are really kind of having, you know, being flexed and everything, I will use the uh, Wonder Balsam or Dabin is another product that they have. So I usually use that in that area that you, you really see the creases and on. I use that on the seams and around the eyelets. So I really take good care of these things. I'm always kind of cleaning them up. Uh, you know, pretty much a little bit every week, you know, just to keep on top of them. So the thing that's kind of wearing down, of course, are the soles. And I notice the soles, uh, I think they've actually worn pretty well. I've walked hundreds of miles in these shoes. I've actually walked in these shoes all over the world in my travels. Uh, and I, you know, I think just wearing the normal wear pattern. I think there's a guy, um, Devon Reviewer or something. He does. He you should definitely check out his uh, reviews on the Four Life Doc Martens or just Doc Martens in general. He does great reviews. Plus, he does it with a British accent, which sounds more official than than mine, and more of a Canadian accent. But the uh, I'm not sure. He, I think he mentions he thought there might be a different in the soles that the soles are wear down a lot faster than maybe a few years ago or something. But I I don't think they've made a change really in the in the way they process uh, these type of soles and the type of materials they use. I'm not sure exactly uh, when I can call for a new pair. I guess I'm, I guess I'm wearing these until there's holes in the, in the soles. And then I can, I guess I contact Doc Martens. I think you send them a photograph and uh, um, you, um, you know, they'll tell you, you know, send them in. I think you pay 20 bucks for shipping. And then if you're in this North America, I think you send them out to Portland, uh, Oregon, or someplace like that. And I think most of the time they wouldn't uh, make an, uh, uh, any kind of, I don't think they repair the soles. They just give you a brand new pair and you can ask for either black or stay with the red. Um, but I think they're really comfortable. I, it's funny, I, I love the soles of Doc Martens uh, or Dr. Martens. Uh, when I, when I, I walk in these all the time. So when I ever go to a, one of my other shoes, like I have some Allen Edmonds or, or Grenson's or uh, uh, Lokes that I have, I can really feel the pavement or the ground through the soles because I'm so used to these air-filled soles. Uh, and uh, I really miss wearing these. I, again, I'm lucky that their size 11 made in Asia fits me versus the made in England ones. Uh, so uh, I've really enjoyed these, wear them all the time, wear them everywhere. Uh, I've hiked in these in Peru, <laughs> so uh, in Morocco, all over the place. And uh, I just clean them up and, uh, and I, uh, I, I've always loved the Kind of the seams, the yellow seams. Actually, in my made in England ones that I had, 
the seam, uh, the sole actually separated from the upper right here. Actually, it came apart. I was amazed that that happened because I thought the the process they use for sealing it is like forever, but uh, I was really amazed it came apart, so I was very surprised by that. But these have been really great performers. Uh, you know, so I really recommend, um, I'm not sure what, the, you know, Doc Martens, of course, I recommend them, but I'm not sure what they're doing um, for the replacement of these. I, I, I'm, I'm gathering, I think my, my, uh, my friend there on YouTube, that Devin reviewer guy, was saying that they might have a stockpile of uh, For Life waiting to, uh, waiting to be used by people like myself when we, when we um, send these back in. So that'd be kind of interesting. Um, or if we get something a little different, that will be interesting. But uh, again, if you if your foot fits nicely in those made in England ones, I think today. I would, I would go for, because they don't have this uh, for life program anymore, I would think I would go for the made in England. I think that would be the better value. I think they'll last longer. I like the, the leather. Uh, actually, it's kind of, a, uh, kind of a funny thing. You'll get the, once you break them in and they feel fantastic, by that time the soles are probably worn out. Uh, too bad they don't have the for life program anymore. I think, again, my, the other reviewer there, um, Devin reviewer guy, he, uh, uh, he makes a great point that uh, this is a really actually I think good for business to have this kind of guarantee and I think uh, you know most people wouldn't wear the shoes as much as he does or I do and probably wouldn't be cashing in on the program as much. Uh, I think they would sell more. I think it's just it shows some confidence in their brand. Uh, the other thing is, um, what was the other thing? Yeah, sizing. <laughs> They, I don't know why they don't have half sizes. It's just, it's beyond me. Um, you know, today most companies are very user focused. I'm, I'm a user experience designer, so we're all about the user, user centric design and, and really understanding the user's needs. And, you know, when you eliminate uh, half a population because you're saving money by making this whole sizes, that's just not a good business strategy. They should be all over half sizes. Uh, it's, it's definitely an error, I think, on their part. And they've been successful, but they nearly went out of business a few years back. So they have to be, you know, they still have to, you know, work at uh, keeping this thing going. I mean, I do admire the brand and, and the history around it. And I feel when you wear these, unlike other shoes, I, I feel a bit more unique. Uh, it kind of describes a more, at least for me, I, I feel more like it's part of a, my creative outfit there, you know, to have these when I wear them to work and everything. And uh, uh, I feel a little more, a bit different than all the other folks in their black uh, dress shoes and stuff like that. So anyways, that was kind of a, a bit of a, a chat about uh, the shoes that I'm wearing all the time these days. And I'm looking forward to getting another pair. I think I'll stay with the Oxblood. I just love the uh, red versus that black and um, and that's it and uh, please check out uh, my uh, channel for other uh, for my travel related stuff and I and I'm trying to do better at that <clears throat> and I'll be having a lot more adventures in 2019 and beyond so anyways uh, thanks uh, for looking at this and in you know, whatever Doc Martin you have, I think they're all pretty good. They make great designs, uh, a lot of fun looking type of shoes. And every time I see a person Doc Martin's on, um, you know, it's I feel like we're in a secret club together. And, uh, and it's funny, I don't see a lot of people wearing them, uh, especially in the States or in Canada. I see it when I'm over in the UK, I saw a lot more. But, uh, but here in the North America, not as common. It's kind of funny. Anyways, adios, gang. Talk to you later.